Welcome to Panta K Learning. In this video, we are going to learn about passive cell balancing method using a simulation blocks. We will see first introduction on the passive cell balancing, next application of a passive cell balancing, next we will see the overview of a simulation model and we will discuss the simulation results. First of all, what is a passive cell balancing? So the passive cell balancing is a one kind of the technique that used in a battery management system to equalize the state of charge among individual cells within a battery pack. It aims to address imbalances that may occur due to differences in cell capacities and internal resistance and other factors. In a battery pack, multiple cells are connected in a series or a parallel to achieve the desired voltage and capacity. Even cells from the same production batch can exhibit a slight variations in their characteristics uh, that leading to imbalances over the time. These imbalances can cause some certain cells to charge or discharge more quickly than the others. It will result in our uh, reduced overall capacity and also the performance of the battery pack. This is one kind of the very simple and cost effective method. It involves uses of passive components such as the resistors, uh, resistors to divert excess charge from cells with higher state of charge to the cells with lower state of charge. So mainly this process allows the cells to approach a more uniform SOC level, improving the overall performance and extending the battery's lifespan. So these passive cell balancing is considered a more straightforward approach uh, compared to the active cell balancing which uses an additional circuitry and energy transfer elements to actively transfer charge between the cells. While passive cell balancing may, uh, may take a longer to achieve the full, full cell balance, it is generally uh, very simpler and uh, less costly to implement. Next, what are the application in a passive cell balancing? So first one is a mainly electric vehicle. So these electric vehicles are uh, large battery packs uh, to pro power their electric motors to maintain the optimal performance and also the uh, longevity of the battery pack. Passive cell balancing is often employed. It helps equalize the state of charge among the cells, ensuring that each cell contributes evenly and maximizing the overall capacity and efficiency of the battery pack. Next, that is a renewable, renewable energy storage. Battery energy storage system are used to store energy generated from the renewable energy sources like a solar or a wind power. So these passive cell balancing ensures that the energy storage system operates very efficiently by balancing the state of charge of the individual cells. Next, uninterrupted power supply. So UPS system provide a backup power during the electrical grid outages. They typically use uh, some battery packs to store energy. At the time, the passive cell balancing is utilized in a uh, UPS system to equalize the SOC of the battery cells. Next one is the energy storage for a grid application. So, large scale energy storage system connected to the electrical grids often utilize the battery banks. So, passive cell balancing is a very crucial in these applications to maintain a balance and optimize the performance of the battery pack. It also helps ensure efficient energy storage and release, enabling the grid stabilization and load shifting and other grid management functions. So these are the very few examples of applications where passive cell balancing is commonly used. Next, this is our uh, overview simulation model on a passive cell balancing. Next, this is our simulation results. So we are getting into the MATLAB software. So go to the MATLAB software. This is our overall battery. Here I have to take a three batteries that connected in a series. So assuming a three batteries with a different voltage level. So first we will see double click on the battery. Here you can see the nominal voltage will be 3.6 and rated capacity I will take it as a 4 ampere hour. Initial state of charge will be 100% battery 1. And next battery 2 initial state of charge will be 50%. That means half of the battery 1 and battery 3 will be 30 percent initial state of charge. So the main goal is to apply the passive cell balancing to equalize the SOC levels among the batteries. In a passive cell balancing, the excess charge from a batteries with the higher SOC levels is dissipated as a heat 
through the re balancing resistor so these are all the balancing resistors so here we have to use a one matlab function here so double click on this matlab function block here you can see the one code so the first uh, function is defined as a with the three inputs uh, what are the inputs u1 u2 u3 is a input it also has a three output as so a s1 s2 s3 will be the output so the input values u1 and u2 u3 are converted to the 32 bit assigned integer using the int uh, 32 function next so this is our first uh, statement so if uh, if statement checks whether the u1 is greater than either a u2 or a u3 if either of the condition is true means a uh, u1 is greater than both u2 and u3 in such a case s1 is assigned to value the 1 if neither condition is true means s1 is assigned to value 0 so next one is the second statement if u2 is greater than u1 and u3 in such a case s2 is assigned the value 1 and indicating that condition is a satisfied if neither condition is a true means s2 is assigned value is a 0 next one is a third so u3 is greater than both u1 and u2 means in such a case s3 will assign to the value 1 that means s3 switch uh, will uh, oh, that means s3 switch uh, will conduct in the circuit next or otherwise uh, the, in, uh, the condition is uh, satisfied and if the neither condition is true means s3 is s3 is assigned to the value 0 so this is our function so we are going in a feed into the matlab function so this is our MATLAB function. This is the three input and this is the three output. So these three output we are going, uh, we are uh, giving into the three switches here. So this is our ideal switch. And so let's run this uh, simulation model. So here I will take it as a one hour. So that means the 3600 seconds. So run the simulation model. So here you can see the SOC level after using this passive cell balancing. So first battery one is a 15.96 and 16.38 and 16.4. So it's, a, it's approximately a 16. So this is our passive cell balancing method. So here we have to see the scope to view the waveform. So double click on the scope. Here you can see. The initial state of charge will be battery 100 and the battery 250 and battery 330. After by using this passive cell balancing, the SOC will be 15 point something and 16 and approximately it will be 16. This is our passive cell balancing method. For detailed information about this simulation and files, check the description box below. We also provide various courses. For new information and updates, subscribe our Panda Key Learning. Thank you. Bye.